Breaking stuff in the shop. Oh my. What is going on guys? The last two things we really need to get this build done finally came in. So hopefully we can get this thing wrapped up and there aren't any uh, issues under a week until the show. Once again, y'all, you know we got to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this series. Been the sponsor of the channel for a little while, of course. Alfred Audio, which owns Def Bonts and Avatar. Huge thank you to them. Again, just sponsoring these videos really, really helps. Getting them to help me out with the equipment that we put in there. They were super helpful. They had stuff shipped out to me super fast. And the stuff is awesome quality. So in this video, we're going to be doing a bunch of demos once we get it hooked up. So y'all can really see what these things can do. But anyway, guys, thank you to them so, so much. Also, of course, thank you to Big Jeff Audio. By the time this video goes live, um, I guess the show will have already happened. But still should be parked with him under his tent at the Sundown Show, giving out demos right next to his build. That'll be giving out demos as well. So thank you to him so, so much. He helped out with the doors we got in this thing. And when I needed something, like the alternator or whatever, he was real quick to... Uh, reach out, find a solution. So huge thanks to him as well. Also got to give a huge shout out to Mechman for uh, hooking up the channel, hooking up a alternator for me super, super fast when I really, really needed it. First off, we got a bunch of eight gauge Sky Car Audio speaker wire for the subs. Got a hundred feet here. And then I got, I don't need 80, but I got 80 of these Mechman heat shrinks. I really like these a lot better than the Sky High ones that I've used uh, in the past. Reason I said I'm switching to this Mechman heat shrink is that it just fits so much tighter. And it's even got a layer of glue in there. You know, it just keeps it uh, looking really, really nice. You can see how neat all those look. Yeah, and the Sky High stuff it doesn't, because the Sky High stuff is meant for a dual lot or single lot of the oversized, you know, car audio wire. And it just doesn't really shrink down quite enough. And then it just, stuff like this, it just stays a little loose looking. Well, if I had time, I would just put all the same heat shrink on everything to make it look perfectly neat. But because I don't have time and I would just honestly be kind of wasteful in my opinion. But hey, this is good enough for now. This uh, will do. Next up, guys, got to get these subs hooked up. Each one of these uh, subs are going to be ran in series with uh, their coils. So, of course, we have a dual 2-ohm sub. We're going to run from one positive on one side to the negative on the other side. That'll rise the voice coils to 4 ohms. We'll then run all eight subs together in parallel to the amp, bring it down to half an ohm. Looky here, y'all. All the wiring, more or less done. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. But let's power this thing on, uh, test it out, make sure it works. And then after that, really all we gotta do is hook these fans up.
Okay, y'all, that is nowhere near to, like, turned up. Oh, my goodness. Didn't see that thing clip or anything. And, oh, my, oh, my goodness. So much fun. One thing is for sure, though, we're going to have to really put a bunch of sound editing on this bat guy here. One, to keep the rattling down from it. It rattles like crazy, too. Uh, I'd rather not break it. Uh, if I broke it and I couldn't get it open, it would be a huge pain to have to crawl over the top of the subs to get it open. Anyway, oh my goodness, guys. Okie dokie, got these fans wired up. We'll, of course, clean up all this wire, but... So the way I have this wired up, uh, the car can be off. So, hey, if I can demo for a little while, if I need to go do something, but I want this amp to cool down to make sure it stays cool. I can just flip a switch. You'll be cooling down. All right, got my switch right there, all wired up and cleaned up. So I can be sitting right here. I can just reach over here. Power those guys up. Power them off. Next up, just got to get some sound editing in. Went ahead, got one in, uh panel of this sky high 160 mil deadener in there so yeah i'm gonna put some more in there I'm gonna put some oh i gotta clean this off put some on the back of this put some more on the front of this i really try to deaden this trunk as much as we possibly can just because it is gonna take the brunt of the force so i'm using the sky high 160 mil and y'all let me know if you like uh, this stuff or not it's my first time using it i kind of don't really like it i thought it would be a little heavier duty, but it's, even though it's 60 mil, it's just really, 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 really light, really, really squishy. It's basically just a really light foam, and it doesn't really, doesn't stick overly well like some of the other sound editor that I've used in the past. In the past, I've used this Matte 66 80 mil stuff, and it's not like a really, it's not like a car audio brand. It's not like a big car audio brand or anything, but this 80 mil piece right here, which is way smaller than this sky high piece, is, is actually a good deal heavier. And y'all, it really, really sticks. And when you're when you've got your tool and you're rubbing it in, it really conforms to the surface that you're putting it on. Whereas this stuff, it doesn't conform well. I even hit it with the heat gun, try to get it warm and to try to get it to stick down. It just doesn't seem to stick all that well. Like same with this stuff, it just, it won't stick. Like it's so odd. Again, I've got it warm, really tried to rub it in. I don't know guys, not really happy with it. Y'all, I'm not a uh, sound deadening expert. I just figured Sky High would probably have pretty nice stuff that would work well, to get the job done. I really needed this chunk to be, you know, pretty solidly uh, deadened for the show. Anyway, but personally, I just don't seem to like this stuff. Y'all let me know if you have tried this stuff and what your thoughts are. Again, I'm not a sound editing pro, so hey, maybe it is good stuff. Let me know. Guys, last year when we had the 815s in here, of course the uh, budget American base ones, we could barely float a shirt. And when we did, uh, the amps started clipping and it got a little stinky in there. Here's a nice thick cotton shirt. Floated it, no problem. Amps didn't clip, nothing got stinky. Oh boy, guys. This is by no means a good looking car necessarily, but hey, gotta do the best with what we got. So went ahead, gave it a good bath. The wheels had a bunch of just brake dust and stuff that had built up over time on them. So got that all scrubbed off looking much better. Again, we don't got a crazy cool show car, but hey, at least we're going to show up clean. All right, let's give y'all a few more demos so you can really see what this thing can do.
breaking stuff in the shop. Oh my. Well, I don't feel like breaking anything else today in here, so I'll probably do it. But hey, there it is, guys. Seems to do hair tricks pretty easy. Honestly, that's really all I was going for, so stoked for that. I guess that's going to wrap this up, but cannot wait to see y'all at the Sundown Show. Again, I know I'm going to upload this Sunday, so it'll be right after the show, I guess. But hey, I am super excited to see y'all and to give out tons of demos. And of course, next week, we'll have a video out showing a bunch of the demos that I give out and a bunch of the demos I get from other guys, so... Stay tuned for that. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate y'all for coming along on this series, on this build. Thank you so much, guys. Remember, as always, keep basing on.